Welcome again to the Late Night Soccer Show. Finished there. 4-1. Brian Moore was ITV's leading football presenter and then commentator for more than three decades. It's a great run by Michael Owen, and he might finish it off. Oh, it's a wonderful goal! Between 1979 and 82, he also did a series of groundbreaking documentaries, gaining unprecedented access. The result was a fascinating insight into sporting success and celebrity, the mentality required to reach the top, and the pressures that came with it. Charismatic, fearless. Sebi Ballesteros transformed the world of golf when he won the Open Championship aged 22. A year later, in 1981, he was preparing to defend his first Masters title. A few people had any real idea of the upbringing that had made the young Spaniard into such a remarkable force. The story of Severiano Ballesteros is the story of a young Spanish boy from a humble background who's become one of the most talked about and controversial players in golf and an attraction for so many girls in golf galleries around the world as well. Still only 23, coming 24, but two years ago he won the British Open title and this week he defends the US Masters Championship, which he won last April. But he's most in the news these days through his demands for appearance money when he plays in a tournament at a time when golf organisers are seeking to stop this sort of payment. Well, Seve talks about this as we see him on the tournament circuit and join him in his tiny home village of Padrenia in northern Spain, where he was raised with his three brothers who are also all golf professionals. While he's a hero in that little Spanish village, they've even composed a song in his honour. Seve tu victoria son bien sonadas Ingleses y americanos quedaron como águilas destrozadas. Tú, Severiano, eres pedreñero. No te das nada importancia y se te admira en el mundo entero. De babor, de babor a estribor, de estribor a babor, de pro a popa. Hay que ver con qué raza y valor Severiano ganó de oro las copas. There's a chest right here. It's pretty old. And the school is on the right, uh, right here. This one here. You see, right here. There's a school. The village is quite nice. The golf course is right here. See, there's a six hole down there. It's bad roads here, eh? <laughs> Well, the old house is about 100 years old, and uh, it's quite a solid house, I think. <laughs> my father, is a, he was a farmer. Now he's uh, retired. My mother, I think, uh, she's the only one who keeps going. She uh, takes care of uh, two houses now, the new one and the, the one we used to live. This is the place uh, my house where I used to practice when I was young, and also uh, Last year uh, I practiced a little bit, uh, and the year before, because uh, sometimes it's bad weather here and, uh, and I don't have any other place to practice, so I chose this, this uh, how you call uh, town, uh, floor. town floor, and uh, it's, it's quite uh, plenty of room for uh, hitting balls and uh, nobody uh, bothers you here. And, uh, Nice place. 
You used to have a net there. Yeah, yeah. Now it's, I don't know where it is, but I used to put it up here. You know, come down and hit it uh, from here. You can use every club here, and uh, it's, it's good, good place to practice. <laughs> I used to practice 12, 1 o'clock at night. My mother used to come down many times and say, oh, come up and go to sleep. What are you doing here? You, you crazy. Over here is when I, when I hit my father. I pull my ball to the left and I, I say four, and uh, he looked to me and I hit straight almost in the eye, right here, so. <laughs> what did he say? Oh, he didn't say uh, nothing until uh, the afternoon because I ran away. I was afraid, you know. <laughs> My father always uh, telling me uh, I will be a good golfer, and uh, he always uh, say, "You keep going. Uh, you look great, and you you have the power, and uh, I think you 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 will be great. And uh, golf is very easy, and uh, you know he say those things, <laughs> and that's that that helps. You know, it's very bad when you are young and uh, your father or your mother always telling you, oh, you know good you you're stupid and those things that's very bad you you will never go anywhere i think <laughs> but your mother was a pessimist i mean what did she what well was she my say? mother my mother tried to find a job a safe job uh you know like maybe go and work in the factory or or maybe uh study and be a lawyer or something else you know but safe safe position you know i miss the school many many days my father and my mother thinks i I, uh, I go to the school, but then most of the days I didn't go. I make a little turn to the left and I go to the golf course. Saluda con la gorra, la gorra, saca la. Sí. Okay. So, aquí vienen a filmar things. Here's the uh, the caddy master with in the office. Taking notes and everything. No important men over here. Saludale, Chu. Saludale. Dile que hombre. Good morning. Dile que good morning. I started as a caddy when I was nine, and at the beginning it was very good, but uh, at the end it's a little boring to carry the, the golf bag to a very bad golfer, you know, because they go left, right, and always you have to try to find the ball, and it's very boring. But uh, as soon as I started practice, I, I enjoy very much, and uh, every time the member didn't see me, I hit the ball, or, you know, I make a few swings, and that helps me. That bush, I think, behind you has got yeah. some special significance, hasn't it? Well, yeah, well, when I... Uh, I used to practice with only one club, and uh, when I come uh, in in the morning or or lunch time, I used to put put the uh, club here, which I uh, nobody saw that. And then when I finish my work, about six seven o'clock in the afternoon, I pick it up again and I practice on the course. Yes. Which club was that? Uh, three iron. Three iron. And then uh, somebody steal the club. Stole the club? Oh, yeah, they stole or steal, I Stole, think. yes. Stole. <laughs> and uh, put it, one day I put it inside, and then when I come back, it uh, disappeared. So uh, it was a very bad time for me. We're not allowed to play in the golf course, but uh, that doesn't matter to me. I, I try and I play uh, after I finish work at night when it was dark, nobody saw me and, uh, on the beach and those things. So then maybe that helped me. The street rules probably helped me because I was more anxious and hungry to, to practice. And the more difficult are the things, the more you try. <clears throat> you know, when you, uh, when you're getting old, you, uh, the effect to the game is coming a little down, but still you are hungry to win and uh, you practice hard, but not as, as much as before. I used to practice seven, eight hours per day. Now I practice five, more or less, sometimes six, sometimes four. But I used to practice much more.
tell me about uh, the members here at Royal Padrena. What, what is their attitude now to professional golfers and to you? Well, before we have a lot of, uh, when I turned professional in 1974, I have uh, many problems because uh, uh, sometimes we're not allowed to practice as much as we we want, and uh, they 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 don't they don't take uh, the professional very well. But since I won the the Open and the Masters and uh, two World Cups and three Barton Trophies, they they're very friendly now, and uh, that's not good. You know, you have to be friendly when you are on the bottom or on the top. You have to be the same. Well, Ben, all he's thinking about is. Uh, I wasn't sure I would win the Masters, but I was I was very sure I would do good because I was in the best form ever. It's a great shot there. You know, it's it's being <laughs> very interesting in uh, in England. Uh, they haven't pronounced my name uh, right. I was going to say. In five years. I was going to say, it, Sevi is always easy for us. But Sevi, it's Sevi. It's Sevi. Sevi? Sevi, no Sevi. And, and it's Ballesteros, no Ballesteros. So can you tell it properly for all the fans so they yeah. know? Sevi Ballesteros. <laughs> to the season yeah. after the after the masters why do you think that was that that things didn't quite go for you too many things to do uh, press interviews cocktail parties dinners lunch times and uh, you know exhibitions too many questions to answer and uh, those things keeps you away from the golf and, uh, and makes you tired I think as well. When I play bad, I feel I feel bad uh, not only for myself. I feel uh, very bad for the uh, people come to watch. Right, yeah. If it kept straight. <laughs> hundred hundred meters to the front, <clears throat> plus, yeah. Yeah, 101 litres to the front. 101 litres to the front. Plus, plus 22 metres on. Yeah. First, you need the ability. But uh, I think mental size is very important too. You have to be cold, you have to be uh, very powerful, and, and you have to be convinced you have a great chance to win. Forget the, the way to lose. You can lose, but never, yeah. must never cross your mind. Always win. Yeah. 
There's really thick stuff in front of that, wasn't there? Do you see this stuff? These? Yeah, I know. They were in there. It's very important to keep the keep the face down. Don't look around. Don't never put the, the face up. Talk as less as you can. And just put your eyes with the ball and the hole. The more uh, serious you take the game, the more tension you put on yourself. It's for example, if you have a putt from 10 feet and you take a stance and you say, oh, I must make it, I must make it, I must make it, you miss because you put so much pressure on yourself. But if you take the stance and you say, well, uh, let me see if you can make a good swing, a good stroke, and I can make it. If you uh, miss, wait until the next one, you know? Ballesteros is not playing badly. Seven colon. He has just lost his cutting edge. I need some room there, please. Move back, please. Move back, please. You never know what, what is going to happen with, with me uh, on uh, each hole, you know? Sometimes I can birdie, sometimes I can be in the tree, sometimes I can be in the bunker, and no, I, I'm no very steady player. And, uh, the people like to see uh, tra travel shots in the trees and in the bunker and uh, make birdies, eagles, bogies, double bogies, you know? I would prefer going to the fairway and uh, green one putt and win everything. But I think if it, one day uh, I, I hit all my drivers straight to the straight to the fairway, the people will lost. Uh, uh, I think uh, a lot from golf probably.
sit, 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 sit. When you uh, go to the golf course, who are you, you going to, to watch? The best player or the worst players? The best players, isn't it? Okay. If the sponsors wants the people to come to the golf course and watch, they need the best players. And to have the best players, they have to pay the best players. So that's one thing that everybody must, must remember. The best players bring the television, the best players give the prestige to the tournament, and the best players bring the people to watch. I don't say any more. <laughs> but doesn't the game need the not so good players as well as the best players? Sorry? Doesn't the game also need the not so good players? Don't you have to have a pyramid? I mean, you've not always been well, the best you player. Suppose... You've not always been yes. the best player. Yes. And is it not fairer to put appearance money maybe as uh, a tournament prize to, to up the prizes. Well, you suppose, suppose this year, suppose uh, Nicholas not coming to the Open, Trevino not coming, Waltz not coming, Erwin not coming, Aoki not coming, uh, Lai not coming, Jacqueline not coming, Ballesteros not coming. How many people will watch the British Open? You think the television will be interesting at the British Open? What I'm saying is that, that if, in fact, the prize money for winning the British yeah. Open were made bigger because of not paying appearance money, maybe Ballesteros and Nicholas That's would fine. still want to come. Remember, to to... Yeah, but everybody has to remember one thing. To win the four tournaments in Europe is equal to win one in the United States. But hasn't golf given you a lot without appearance money? You know, you know how much I give to golf? I, I, I started since I was nine, and since then, I live until, until I am right now 23, this way, all for golf. You think this is not enough? <laughs> I think it's enough. Your life? All my life, and the life is more important than anything else, right? So golf owns me something, or maybe even, but I don't, I don't own anything to golf. Is this just for general fitness? Yeah, for the legs, legs strong. Very important. It's the base of the game. It's like uh, when you uh, make a house. The base is the, uh, the foundation. That's right. You have to, uh, to do this exercise for the uh, maintain the uh, fingers, the hand, and the wrist strong. And I have to be prepared more than anybody else because I visited the rough a lot, so that's very important for me. When I was young, I wasn't prepared to take so much, uh, so much exercise, and that is the reason my back is a little uh, weak. I work on my back, so I think I, I will still play in maybe 15, 20 more years. Easy, no problem.
I read somewhere that it's, it's like uh, having a burden on your shoulders, the back. It, there, there is a pain there for most of the time. Yeah, yeah, especially when I, uh, when I sit uh, in the chair, especially when I have to, uh, to go to the parties and dinners and those things, I don't like it because uh, I have to sit down for three, four, five hours and that's very bad for my back and yes. makes my muscles very, very tight and, and that makes uh, the pain. So that is why I feel very uncomfortable when, when I visit in those parties and dinners. People say he's, he's only 23. It's very sad that he should have a, a back that gives him problem when he's so young. Yeah, but uh, it would be worse if you have uh, only one leg or one arm or, or bland or anything. So uh, I'm very happy with my pains in my back. Que no, 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 This is the uh, AT, it's over there. Cows. <laughs> it's a very, uh, very quiet place. Nice to be here. Salon, we call salon, how you call this? The uh, living room? Living room, living room. Uh, all, the, all the trophies and... Uh, Very simple. Nothing special. <laughs> the trophy we can see actually behind you there. Yeah, Sebi. this is the uh, Royal Living and sometimes Golf Club. And, uh, with, uh, with a map of the golf course. And that's when you won the Open in 1979. Yeah. Ballesteros' third shot. And what a finish, what a grandstand finish yet again. Are you aware of the noise of the crowd when you were really concentrating on the last hole of a tournament like this? Uh, no, when if you if your concentration is good, you uh, you don't hear anything. Not, not nothing bothers you. But if it's bad, if your concentration is not good, uh, even the flies can bother you. <laughs> yes, there it is, one under par. Two eight three and a remarkable victory. And a moment of typical Spanish emotion as he's acclaimed by his brothers. <laughs> He hasn't yet recorded. He hasn't yet recorded. Come on, Sir. Well done. Come on, sir. Just think, he's only 22. If his injured back stands up to the pressures, what heights, I wonder, may he reach? I was told that you prayed before the last round of the British Open. Yeah, on the, uh, on the locker room, yeah. Can you tell me what that was about? Did you go to church to do that? No, no, in the locker room, I sit down, I say, Padre Nuestro, que estás en los cielos, santificado sea tu nombre, venga a nosotros tu reino, hágase tu voluntad, así en la tierra como en el cielo, el Padre Nuestro cada día, danosle hoy, perdona a nuestros dedos, así como nosotros perdonamos a nuestros dedores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte, amén. Señor, por favor, ayúdame a, a conseguir este triunfo que tanto ansio y que me va a venir muy bien. Muchas gracias. And you knelt in the locker room to say yeah. that. And, and roughly translated, that means what? In English? Oh, yeah. well, just roughly. What does oh. it mean, roughly, in English? Uh, no, it's not... It's impossible. <laughs> but you were praying, what, to, to put in a good performance and to win the championship, were you? Oh, yeah. Say, please, uh, help me, and... Uh, and I say, uh, how you say... Uh, 
Uh, as I say before, Padre Nuestro, que estás yes, en los cielos. Yes. Uh, <laughs> and the help was coming, wasn't it? The help came. Yeah, I think so. Yes. Son, tienen los bolsillos muy hondos los mallorquines, ¿no? En las tierras de Pepita de Mallorca, ¿verdad? Tienen los bolsillos muy profundos. Los alemanes, los... The Mallorcan people has the very deep uh, pockets, ¿eh? Yes, yes, very deep. Son <laughs> de Mallorca. He's, uh, he's working in Mallorca, you know? That is why I say that. He just lost and he don't want to pay me. I don't, I don't play with him anymore. You know, the game is the game. And if you make a bet, you should pay when you lost. And you should take the money when you win. But uh, looks like he forget that. Lo tienes todo. Huh? Esto multimillonario. Sí. Sí. Esto... Esto es campeón de los mundiales. Sí. Chico joven, bien parecido y todo, ¿eh? Pero no tengo chavala para... Ah, oh, las que chavala, quieras. Me faltan las chavalas. Las que quieras, las que quieras, ¿Eh? las que quieras. Bueno, se ve, se ve, lo tienes todo, hijo. Que Dios... Oye, sí, que Dios te... You see, every, everybody say, when you win the hopping, it's a million dollars. When you win the master, it's a million dollars. And that's not really true. It's a, probably it's a million dollars when you win the hopping, but maybe in five, six years... No a million dollars. I don't see the million dollars. Where? No, no in, no in, in, in one year. That's impossible. Vaya un hijo más guapo que tiene dinero. Last year I won uh, maybe two hundred thousand dollars in prize money. That's a hundred thousand pounds in prize money. Yeah. So uh, you... less than that. Yes. Pounds very high now. <laughs> yes. So what you're saying is it's something like two hundred and fifty thousand pounds, maybe in endorsements at the same time. <laughs> Yeah. Making a total of nearly half a million pounds in the yeah. year. No, nearly uh, down. <laughs> the Corporation Days is, is good, it's, it's great fun for us, but. The only thing uh, it's not good for the for the professional golfer is you have to spend so much time. You know you have to take uh, play maybe with with the uh, sponsors from the company and take pictures and uh, take a movie or uh, those things. We're not getting into problems with the Yeah, that looks good. Yes. Yeah. Much more. Have you got the club? Oh, yes. Fucking brilliant. Vivian, we're going to defend you. Can I do the same thing again? Shall we? Shall we? Full screen. Yeah, you can see it. Not much uh, risk. That's right, takes all the risk out. And there it is, you see? He's really quite good, this guy, isn't he? He's <laughs> 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 in the exodus. Okay. He's going to take his seven iron, he's going to do my swing backwards. All right. <laughs> <laughs> he promised he would do this just for me. What do you say? <laughs> he's, bad, after, eh? he's after the Bob Charles contract as well. <laughs> no, okay. what we want you to do is the one foot. Come on, on one leg. Because oh, I saw a guy so do this one legged shot. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If you do this one, I'm going to ask you to bury your head for the next one. <laughs> yes. On the Duchess course in one on Saturday, and he's got one arm. One of our members is Scott's fellow, who's uh, one of our super members, 
Yeah. And he's got one arm only, and he had yeah. a hole in one here on Saturday. With one arm? With one arm. Oh, that's very interesting. <laughs> he must be better prey than me. I never get a hole in one. <laughs> yeah. You know had one? That's true, never. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> May I ask you what your ambitions are now in your private life? From the age of 23, 24 onwards, what do you want to do with your private life? With my private life? Yes, what are the ambitions you have in life generally away from golf? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I've been thinking uh, about, about golf only, I think. Uh, I don't know. It's resting and be prepared for golf. <laughs> That's it. A lot of people would say I would, I would like to be married and have a family. Oh, well, probably, yeah, yeah. Good idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. May I ask you, I mean, do you have a girlfriend? No. Many, I have many. But no, no steady one. Because it's very difficult uh, being i never been a long time at the same place. That makes it difficult. What time are you going off? Right here in the dinner. Okay, good luck. Have fun. Bye now. Okay. Bye. Good luck. What time do you play today, Terry? 12 for You? I play uh, 12 o'clock. I think they score very good on this course, eh? Yeah. Woo! Many birdie holes. Most of them, if you put the pace, how you play. Yeah. <laughs> I think the scores are good this week. You know, that shot is very difficult, eh? Yeah. That's the one I use. Wow. What are you doing for the long, long bunker shots? Yeah. yeah, I just make my swing longer, so I get get the ball up. Always people are short. Yeah, me always short. Yeah. Suerte, eh? Okay. Good luck, eh? Well, I'm a Ballesteros fan. I think Seve has been very, very good for golf. He's a man with a, a great amount of charisma. He reminds me of a wild animal in a cage. He's always out there, a fierce competitor. And uh, I love to see that in a young fella. He's always practicing very hard. And I think that any man that works hard in life deserves everything he gets. And everything that he, he can win every major championship in the world and he will uh, deserve it. I think at this stage he's so golf orientated that all he does is just play golf, golf, golf. I think if I was Seve, I would, uh, I would go out to a few discotheques now and again and have a bit of fun, let yourself go. Seve, Will? No. Oh, yeah. You didn't stay up too late last night, did you? No, uh, was a little late. <laughs> Hello. ¿Cómo estás bien? Bien. Bien. Por supuesto, una foto con ley. Sí, seguro. Sí. I want to take a picture of the maestro here. My spaghetti. Okay. Can I get one of the cap at the golf club? Yeah. Dad, can I just look at the nineteen? What a handsome man. How are you, Sam? Nice to see you. Sorry, Sebi, I don't know where he's going. Come and launch, probably. <laughs> well, this is just playing with Dickens. We've tried um, 
Yeah. It could have been having trouble getting in. Well, there's no room on that side with the car. I mean, the car from outside. I said he should be disqualified. After all, the Americans disqualified no, no, you no, no. for being made on the team. <laughs> it's two shots for every half. Oh, an two hour. shots for every half an hour. <laughs> How are you? All right. I'm well, are you? Yeah. Are you in good form? I'm scared to death. <laughs> I wanted to tell you about this retirement. He's squandering me on the tee every time I start. I'm the telly last night. He's going down here. He's going down there. I think you can come round a bit more for yeah, this You've got to go all the way. I know. <laughs> um, how are you, Good. How are you? Nice to see you. Good to see you. Yes, indeed. Yeah. 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 Pro is part of the of the game, I would say, because every every amateur who play with you is because they they are involved in the tournament. They put they sponsor the tournament or they they're involved in the tournament. You know, and I would say uh, it's very important to play with with them because without the sponsors uh, we don't have any tournaments. This is match number 32. On the team from Spain, <coughs> Severiano Basteros. of his partner, who can say more but the man himself, Bob Hope. Have you got any small balls? <laughs> Seriously, that's a personal question. <laughs> <laughs> well... I've been hitting the small ball on the practice team. I don't know whether I'm ready for this. Good shot. <laughs> you feel like you're alone, Sevy? You feel like you're playing all alone? <laughs> One man team. I thought I might I thought I might help you on that hole. You mean me play bad? I can play bad too. Play easy. You can't play any worse back here, I'll tell you that. Uh left back nine is better. You wouldn't play much better. My ambition this year is win the Masters, the US Open, and the Open. And in the future, my ambitions are to uh, to make the Grand Slam. The Grand Slam. Grand Slam. Win the PEA too. But when you say my ambition is to win the US Masters, the US Open, and the British Open this season. I mean, is, is that realistic? I think it's very realistic. Maybe I don't win anything, but uh, I think I can do it. I will try. We'll see. We'll you, see. You really think that's... I mean, oh. that's not just a golfer at the start of the season saying... I will try to, be, to convince myself I can do, and maybe, maybe I can do. We'll see.
There would be another Masters and two more Open titles for Seve Ballesteros, the greatest player in the game at his peak. His inspirational style would go on to define Europe's domination of the Ryder Cup before his untimely death, aged 54.